today I thought I would kind of share my new little obsession with everybody, which are these really cute little like boutique style bows. And they're really simple to make, and so I thought I would share a little tutorial. You just like have a little clip on the back and they're all good to go. And this is more of a silky satiny kind of fabric and this is just like regular old ribbon fabric. So um, here's my little tutorial for it. And uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need a couple of different kinds of ribbon. You can have one color or you can have a hundred colors. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, but you're probably going to use three different bows. So some people like to use three different ones. Uh, some people like to use all the same ones. Like with my little Tiffany colored one here, um, I like to use the blue twice and then the white and then I use the white to wrap it. But um, you're going to need the ribbon. You're going to need these little French beret clips or whatever kind you want. These were $3.47 at Hobby Lobby and there's quite a lot of them in there. So 25 of them in there. And you're going to need a hot glue gun, which is not going to get on camera for me, but yeah, just a little hot glue gun. It doesn't really matter what kind. And a needle and thread and a tape measure. And with my needle and thread, I like to uh, pull it so that it's kind of the thread doubles over. I take it like that, and then I knot it so that way I get kind of a double stitch for every stitch I do, and I don't have to do it as much. Uh, you can do it any way that you prefer. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so this, um, I already have one bow ready to kind of save some time on here. So there's our first bow. And I'm going to do, since it's kind of a translucent thing here and you can see through it, I'm going to do two of the rainbows and then the cupcake pattern because there's lots of nice bright colors in that. So what you want to do is roll out a little bit of ribbon. Oh, my mistake. You are also going to need scissors for this. It's a good thing I have my little sewing kit there. But you're going to roll that out and you're going to want to get 19 inches of ribbon. And here we go. It's right here for us. And you're going to make three of these little bows or more if you want to figure out a way to do that um, with 19 inches of ribbon on each side. Now some people put, some people put ribbon on the, the back and kind of glue it on there in the front. And you know, I know my daughter's probably just going to tear them all up, so <laughs> I don't do that. Um, and let's see, I'm trying to get at an angle where you can see me okay. And what you want to do is make like a little figure eight with the ribbon. And you want about an inch or two kind of extra on the tail flap there. But hopefully I'm trying to get this, it just doesn't want to cooperate with this camera angle. But so you want it to look about like this. And what I like to do is I like to fold it once and then fold it back on the on the end so that you kind of get a triple goodness you kind of get a triple um, effect here and it's really tight and it kind of pops out a bit in the color in the front and so I fold it like about like that I hopefully everybody can see me and then you're gonna want to take your thread and hopefully you thought ahead to knot the end first so that way you don't have to fight with it and you're gonna just put a couple of stitches in here to hold it in place so it doesn't come apart. Um, I've heard some people use glue. I don't think I would personally recommend gluing these together because it's just, I don't know, I don't really trust how well glue is going to hold over a very long period of time. But if it's just something, you know, maybe you just want it for one pageant or something, glue would probably be cool. Goodness. All right. And then I'm going to tie a knot in it a couple times here just to secure it down. I hope I'm keeping that all on camera okay. <laughs> okay, so now that part's good. So you're going to want to cut, uh, cut all that excess string. Before you start on your next bow, you want to tie it off again because otherwise you'll get your bow already and knotted and then realize, oh crap, I gotta go back and do the knot. And believe me, I've been doing that for the last two days, so it's really not fun. <laughs> Goodness, just can't get anything to cooperate here today. Okay, well that'll work. 
Okay, and then I'm going to get 19 inches of my rainbow ribbon here. And you know, it doesn't have to be an exact science, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's not a really big deal. Um, a lot of people use Fray Away or that kind of product on the ends, and it really, I don't know. For me, I know my daughter's three years old, and you can probably hear her in the background, like, singing to Nihao Kai Lan, but I know she's going to tear them apart. I have no unrealistic, unrealistic expectations of that, of this surviving, so I don't really worry about all the little extras, but... Um, if I was going to do it for like some kind of, I don't know, for somebody else or if I were making them to sell, I would do the fray away and all that stuff. And we're just going to knot it again. Or not, I'm sorry, not knot it, thread it again. And these ribbons, if I didn't mention that before, these are about inch and a half thick ribbons. And that's what you're going to want to use when you work with these are the larger ribbons because the smaller ones, there's just not enough room to really work with it to do this type of a ribbon. Um, but the smaller ones are good for another kind of ribbon and I'll do a video for that one in a little bit and show you. But as you can see, this isn't taking a particular <laughs> long amount of time. So, okay, now we have are three ribbon pieces because I did the one piece before I started the video and so you're just gonna stack them the way that you want them anyway it doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna do cupcakes in the middle so it I don't know, looks a little cute to me I like it like that okay then we're gonna knot our thread again so that we don't get started without having the thread together and you don't really have to fold them anymore once you get to this point you don't have to fold the ribbons up anymore you just want to stack them on top of each other unless you're trying to do some cute design. And then I usually go from the back and work forward and just put a couple more stitches in here um, just to hold it down a little better. And you can probably hear my kids in the background. They're just being nuts today. Ugh, spring break. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for it to be done. Everybody can go back to school. I'm good with that. I miss my peace and quiet time. And then we're just going to knot it again in the back. Uh oh, oh well, that's fine. going to knot it again in the back. We'll hold everything together and I hope you can see me. I know this camera is not cooperating with the angle today. But as long as you secure it, it's not a big deal. Okay, so now we have like our cute little frilly bow here. And what we want to do next is we want to get 10 inches of bow again in any kind or style that you like. I'm going to do the cupcake since I did two of the rainbows to kind of balance it out a little bit. And it doesn't have to be exactly 10 inches, but that's, that's the recommended length. You could probably get away with 8 inches just as easy. And, um, okay, what we're going to do is take it and we're going to do a French knot. So to do a French knot, you just make a little kind of breast cancer soldier type style ribbon. And you pull one side through the top. And you just gently pull and make sure that you have both, that the, the part with the picture on it, the pattern on it, is coming out so that you just gently pull both sides. And you try to get it so where the pattern and the flat part are all facing up. See, if you can see here, there's like the little knot spot and then there's the flat part. And the flat part is what you're going to want to use. And you're going to get that. Oh, goodness. Okay, so our bow is going to lay out like that. You're going to take this, and you're going to take the hot glue gun, which of course is not going to want to reach over here, but hopefully you can see it. And we're just going to put a little bit on the back of the knot. And we're going to secure it down here, right in the middle. So we've got 
three ends going this way, three ends going that way. So we're all balanced. It's not going to look lopsided or funny. And we're just going to take it around to the back and we're going to glue it down again. Okay, uh, we got cut off there for a minute. So if you didn't see it, if it cut it off too soon, um, you just hot glue one end down and then you're going to hot glue the other end of the ribbon down. So that way it has some hold. Man, I tell you, nothing's wanting to work for me today. Okay. And once you get the glue on, you just fold that back over and make a tight little bow, and then that's what the front looks like. You can kind of play with it still a little bit more and get it a little bit more where you wanted before the glue dries, but that's about our bow. So now we have our little bow kind of all together there, and we're going to take one of these little clips. I think these are the wrench clip style. Um, you can get whatever type you like. Um, again, since this is, this is for my three-year-old, I know she's going to tear it apart. I just got what I thought, you know, she could pull out would be the hardest for her to pull out, that is. I am just not with it today. Okay, and we're going to hot glue right on the back of here. Okay, and we're going to go back to the back of the bow, and we're just going to stick it on where we want it. And you hold it there for a couple of seconds, and then it'll dry and affix itself. Oh, if I could get this right, that would help, I'm sure. But, and then we have our cute little girly bow. And it took, what, maybe 10, 15 minutes to do a cute little bow. And more practice, they look better. This uh, rainbow ribbon is not working well with me today. <laughs> but um, try it out, especially like with these more satin style fabrics. They look really cute. And if you have a little girl that's on a team or a cheerleader or something like that, these are really super cute. So I hope you enjoyed that today, and I'm going to do a different ribbon video later, and hopefully that one will be a little bit more cooperative, but um, thanks for watching. This has been Megan, and check out my other videos for other cool random stuff. Thanks!